Okay. Hi, hello everyone. You are welcome to today's tutorial. Still under what the low number system. Today we want to take a good look at intervals, distance, and absolute values. What comes in mind when we say the word interval? Okay, now interval simply means the space in between two fixed points or two limits. For example, assume I have this line and there is a tree at one side of this line and there is a pole at the other side. You can see that this becomes a fixed point and another fixed point. And the space between these fixed points is what we term as what? Interval. That is the space between these two limits. Let's say the limit A here and the limit B there. So the space between them is what we call interval. But interval can be written using the real number system. Let's see how we can write that simply and shortly, which will benefit all of us. I think my brain is very nice. We do. Okay, let's just release it in the near future. We'll be using a hologram to draw that. Okay, now back then in SHS, we were taught how to write intervals in set builder notations, but we want to convert those set builder notations into the form of what? Actual intervals. For example, having x such that a is less or equal to x, less or equal to b, is a set builder notation, meaning we are moving from a to b and it's an interval. But here we have another way of writing it. So this can also be written as a comma b. They are our limits. We use a square brace if the limits are included. For example, we can find that this equal to sign here means a and B are part of what? The interval. So we use a square bracket or a square brace to indicate that they are part of the what? The entire interval. So this one means we are actually moving from A and ending at B as denotes in this set notation. In other way, let's say we have this. Here you can see that the B is excluded from the range. How do you write that also? Since A is included, we still use our square brackets. And B is excluded, so we use our normal bracket to show that B is actually not part of the word range. Also, when we have the third form, where none of the limits are included. We can use what the brackets only to show that we are moving from A to B, but A and B are actually what not part of the range. What about single notation such as S less than let's say B? How do you write this? Now let's consider what this thing means first. X is less than B, meaning all numbers that are below B. So we move from B backwards till we never get to the end. So that's negative infinity. So our end point here will be negative infinity and our end point on the other side will be what? B, but we know that B is excluded. So we embrace it. Even though infinity is power, but do you know what infinity stands for? We don't know the number at infinity. So we consider infinity as what? 
earlier, so use a bracket to close the infinity as well. Also, as you know, we have the set for x is greater or equal to a. Here we know a and above or a and beyond all the numbers greater than a, but a is part. Since a is part, our left side limit is a, and our right hand side limit is positive infinity because we are going without ending. We don't know the number as infinity, so we use a bracket, right? We use a bracket, but we have this equal to sign, meaning a is part of the solution. So we bring a square bracket here. So that's all that you can say about writing intervals in these forms.